Throughout its glory years of 1982 to 1994, G.I. Joe Real American Hero released hundreds of figures as well as playsets. Children could use their imagination to play with these figures in their bedroom, the living room, the backyard, the playground, or their friend's house. Within this array of figures, G.I. Joe released numerous sub-teams within both the G.I. Joe as well as the Cobra sides. It's time to rank some of my favorite sub-teams, so join me, strap in, because this is a Toy Connections Top 7 Countdown. I would just like to point out that this ranking represents my opinion and my opinion only. If you see a sub-team that you think should be on the list but was not included, or if you disagree with the order of my ranking, I welcome you to express your opinion in the comments, but if you do so, I just ask that you do this respectfully. This list only includes figures that were available domestically during their initial run and does not include international produced figures that were available in South America as well as Europe, nor does it include various custom figures. So with that, let's get to our list. Here are the top 7 G.I. Joe sub-teams according to a Toy Connections ranking. In at number 7, we have 1986's G.I. Joe Special Missions Brazil. This was a covert operation where the mission was to infiltrate covert jungles in Brazil in order to recover an important military satellite deep within enemy territory. This set of 5 was originally released as a box set with a cassette that you could listen to on your tape deck. It featured repaints of Leatherneck, Dial Tone, Mainframe, Wetsuit, as well as a new figure at the time named Claymore. Special Missions Brazil did get a single one-shot comic issue when Devil's Due Publishing had the G.I. Joe license back in 2007. Note that the set probably would have ranked higher if it wasn't portrayed as a one-off mission and if it had some vehicles. You guys still with me? Okay, good. Let's continue on with number 6. Next on the list is Sergeant Slaughter's Marauders from 1989. Marketed as a Strike First Ground Assault crew, this set featured repaints of Footloose, Spirit, Low Light, Mutt, Barbecue, and the leader Sergeant Slaughter. This is probably my favorite color deco scheme among the sub-teams on or off this list. It featured vehicles, namely the Lynx, Equalizer, and Armadillo, who were tasked with infiltrating and eliminating Cobra bases and strongholds. I believe that this set would have been higher on this list if the original team had had more members. However, in 2011, a Big Bad Toy Store exclusive did feature releases of Mercer, Taurus, Red Dog, and Falcon as part of the Marauder set, and in 2018, Hardball was added as a convention figure though it probably would have been better if they had the original construction so that they could match their O-ring counterparts from 1989. And with that in mind, let's move along to number 5. Night Force. This team's function was to serve as nighttime surveillance and they relied upon the surprise factor to battle the enemy under the cover of darkness. This was the largest of the original G.I. Joe sub-teams and consisted of Crazy Legs, Outback, Psychout, Sneak Peek, Tunnel Rat, Charbroil, Muskrat, Lightfoot, Repeater, Shockwave, Spearhead, and presumably the leader in Falcon. Eight different vehicles were included as part of Night Force, which consisted of repaints of previous releases covering air, ground, and marine combat operations. Night Force was released over two separate years in 1988 and 1989, exclusive to Toys R Us as a retailer. In 2004, it should be noted that they did add more characters as part of the Night Force sub-team, but I do feel that the original team was pretty complete and strong enough as is. As this countdown continues, let's see who came in at number 4. Python Patrol, an elite unit within Cobra. This team has special uniforms that mask their presence to radar systems as well as electronic detection. They are equipped for stealth and infiltration operations. Python Patrol made their debut in issue number 88 of the original Marvel comic run, and they were also briefly featured in the 1989 cartoon series by Deke. The original 1989 lineup consists of the Crimson Guard, Viper, Trooper, Officer, Televiper, and Copperhead, basically army builders for the most part. The vehicles consisted of the Assault System Pod, Stun and Conquest, as well as other vehicles that were released in 2011. 
Please note that a very cool subset in 2003 also saw releases of the Laser Viper, Heat Viper, Rock Viper, Lampreys, Saw Viper, and an apparent leader in Major Blood. In my personal opinion, the 2003 releases blend in very well with their 1989 counterparts, and I personally display them as a set of 12 on my shelf. Count them down, folks. Who came in at number 3? Yellow, Green, and Tan, Yojo with Tiger Force. Released in 1988, this lineup consisted of Bazooka, Duke, Dusty, Flint, Frostbite, Lifeline, Rikondo, Roadblock, Sky Striker, and Tripwire. One very cool feature about Tiger Force was that they captured Cobra vehicles and repurposed them into G.I. Joe Tiger Force vehicles. Namely, the Ferret became the Tiger Paw, the Rattler became the Tiger Rat, and the Cobra Moccasin became the Tiger Shark. G.I. Joe also repainted some of their own vehicles into the Tiger Sting, Tiger Fish, Tiger Cat, and Tiger Fly. Overall, the mission purpose of Tiger Force was to partake in dangerous jungle missions and to find and disable hidden Cobra bases. Okay, now let's see who came in at number 2. In the runner-up spot, we have Destro's very own Iron Grenadiers. In 1988, Destro led his own team consisting of Voltar, Darklon, Metalhead, as well as Nullifiers, Annihilators, Ferrets, Undertoes, the generic Iron Grenadier Troopers, as well as Targats and Wild Boar. Later on, additions also included members such as General Mayhem and even Rowdy Roddy Piper. Iron Grenadiers and Destro's employ seem to consist of his own personal castle guards, bodyguards, and mercenaries. Firepower on this team includes large vehicles such as the Demon and smaller vehicles such as the Despoiler. Bear in mind though that the Iron Grenadiers could be considered their own faction outside of Cobra, mainly because the version 2 Destro file card does indicate that he left Cobra at some point to have his own private army. Having said that, it's unclear whether or not he formed the Iron Grenadiers first as a sub-team, then expanded into a private army or not. It should also be noted that in the 1989 Deke cartoon, the version 2 deco of Destro does appear and is very much part of the Cobra faction and not on his own. I suppose it is up to us, as individual collectors and fans of G.I. Joe, to determine whether we prefer Destro to be on his own in his own private army, or still a member of Cobra. And it's time! Let's see who came in at number 1. Well, hopefully this is no surprise, it's the Dreadnoughts. This famous biker gang was featured very prominently in all of G.I. Joe's forms of entertainment, including the comic and the cartoon. They also had figures released during the peak eras of 1984 to 1989. Led by Zartan and flanked by his siblings Xandar and Zarana, other members included Torch, Buzzer, Ripper, Monkey Wrench, Thrasher, Road Pig, Zanzibar, and Nagahide. Later editions included Zartan's daughter Zanya as well as other members. Their vehicles included the Swamp Skier, Air Assault, Ground Assault, Dreadnought Cycle, Thunder Machine, just to name a few, as there are many. Now, while the Dreadnoughts could operate somewhat independently as a biker gang on their own, they always did seem to be in the employ of Cobra in all forms of media that I either watched or read, and thus, they are seared in my memory as my favorite sub-team of all time. And there you guys have it, my personal ranking of the top 7 G.I. Joe sub-teams of all time. You will notice that I did miss a few, such as Battle Force 2000, Ninja Force, Star Brigade, and Sky Patrol. Maybe you agreed, maybe you didn't. Either way, let us know in the comments below. As for the channel, like and subscribe if you already haven't, hit that notification bell, follow me on Instagram. Other than that, Yojo, known as Half the Battle, take care, and I'll see you guys next time.